Ladies and gentlemen of Carrier Strike Group 1, we're going to be going over a quick tutorial on using OVGME and setting up the CSG1 mod pack in OVGME. If you never used OVGME before, it's actually very simple, it just takes a couple steps to set up. Uh, so first thing first, if you don't already have it downloaded and installed, go ahead and do that. And we're going to assume that you know how to install a Windows program. If not, find me offline and I'll walk you through that. Now, once you have OVGME installed, go ahead and run it from wherever it installed to. Make sure that it's set to run as administrator. Now when yours opens, it's going to be a basically a blank screen. It'll look like this, but nothing will be in the center. I've already got a couple directories set up, so you can ignore the, uh, what's in the center. Now, first thing we're going to need to tell OVGME is, is where we have our mods saved at. The second thing we're going to need to tell OVGME is, is where we want the mods to get installed. Now, like I said, the CSG1 mod pack is transitioning into using the saved games folder as opposed to the DCS directory. So if you're not familiar with that, we'll show you how to set up that as well. So first thing, we need to download our mods and put them someplace. Me personally, I use my downloads folder with a DCS subfolder, and that's where I keep all my mods. For training purposes here, I'm going to demonstrate that uh, we've got it saved on the desktop for whatever reason. So like I said, for training purposes, I've created a folder on my desktop called DCS mods. Now we need to get some of our mods and put them there. Uh, we'll assume that you've downloaded your uh, mod pack already. And here's the mod pack. You're going to unzip your mod pack into your DCS mods folder. And then once it's done unzipping, go ahead and delete the zip folder just to save a little bit of room. Now we need to tell OBGME where everything's at. So you're going to start by going to this top left and hitting config and new. You can name this configuration uh, whatever you want. I've already got a couple set up, so I'm just going to say this is DCS example. The next thing we need to do is tell DCS where our uh, configuration folder is, the, the root folder. This is where they're going to install the mods. So this is going to be our saved games folder. Typically, this is under your uh, hard drive of your uh, Windows, under users, whatever user you are, saved game, and DCS open base. Your uh, save game folder could be titled DCS World. If you have uh, 1.5 or 2.2, the open alpha, still installed in your computer, make sure you collect or, uh, select the correct uh, save games folder. Otherwise, you could have issues. The next thing that we need to tell it is where our mods are saved. Uh, for training purposes, we've saved it on a desktop in that DCS mods folder, so that's where we're going to tell it to look. And then we're going to hit create. Now, I have an issue because it's already got something located. Uh, it's already, I've already got a configuration set up for this folder, so it's not going to actually create a new one. But what I'm looking at now is what I've got as my actual uh, one. So the next thing that you need to do is save a snapshot. What OVGME here is going to do is look at your save games folder and essentially Check everything that's in there so it knows what it's supposed to look like when the game is set to vanilla. To do that, you're going to go to Config, under Snapshot, and you're going to go New. It'll take a minute or two, but click on New. OVGME will look at everything in there, look at the folder structure, and say, this is what your folder is supposed to look like when it's vanilla. Now I have something to compare it to so I don't mess this up. Once it's done with that, you're ready to go. 
So all that you should have in there, if you only have one mod, is this CSG1 mod pack. All you have to do to enable it is click Enable Selected. And your mods are enabled, and you can start your game now. And there you have it. You've got your CSG1 mod pack on using OBGME, and it's going to your save games full.